Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter and welcome to another video today. And I get this asked an awful lot and it's about whether you can actually use specific assets or assets you find in other game engines, other marketplace, even Unity's marketplace. Can you use it in your game? Is it legally allowed? You know, all these different questions and make sure that everybody's aware of you know what you need to look out for when it comes to sort of legal standings and using free sounds and assets on unity's eula faq you can see that there's a few things you can see here it says that what can you do with the assets from the uni assets store that you can modify the asset and distribute them in an embedded game or other digital products sdks cannot be modified without the publisher permission. So any game that you've got and you've got something from the Unity Asset Store, whether it's free or otherwise, you can use it commercially, just like can you use assets commercially. Yeah, as long as the asset is embedded or integrated into a game or other digital product and you have not obtained the appropriate license. When you buy the item, you get the license and you will be emailed a copy of the invoice with the license type. If it's an extension, which requires you to buy more seats, it will have a single or multi-entity licenses to be able to use by more people and not just you. And the only thing that it doesn't allow you to do is you cannot distribute it separately from your game. So either modify it and sell it yourself is not allowed, but you can use it in terms of using it in a game. Here's another example. This is on the Unreal Engine Marketplace FAQ. And it says, can products be used in other AI game engine like Source or Unity? Any marketplace products that have not been created by Epic Games, it's only specific Epic Games content which has a restriction, can be used in other engines unless otherwise specified by the specific asset developers. Because a lot of asset developers cross between Unity and Unreal Engine. And please note that purchased products from the marketplace cannot be sold back to the marketplace after alteration. Here's another quick example. This is on freesound.org. And this talks about how you can use free sounds. They do specify that they're not lawyers, but people who put their sounds up, they need to, they specify what license you're allowed to use in the sounds that are available on this website. So first is the zero attribution license. So Creative Commons zero, which means you don't need to attribute. You can just use it freely. However you want, you can use it, distribute it, whatever you need it to be. Then there's a second one, which is attribution. So you need to specify that in your credits or wherever it may be, that you attribute the person who created it. And then the third example is the non is the attribution with non-commercial. So you cannot use this in a commercial game or a product. And you can often see this in their sounds. This sound here, the river floodplain is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution license. So you need to attribute this artist with it. Or if it's got a zero on it, you can see that this sound is public domain. So you can use it anywhere you want. And then this one below here is this license is under Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial license. So you couldn't use this in a game or something like that because it requires both attribution and a non-commercial style product. So these are just some caveats with the things that you want to look out for. So most content you will find across game engine sounds, free assets, free websites. Look for the FAQ if you're confused. Do let me know in the comments if there's anything you don't understand or any websites that you are confused about and I can have a look for you. Do come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 115 different scripts and assets you can't find anywhere else. Come and chat to me on Discord and check out my new website to get discount off all my assets across the Unity Asset Store with a link in the description to get additional money off. And a big thank you to Starfire at 2011 and Massey on Patreon, along with my other amazing patrons and everybody who watches the channel. So have a wonderful Christmas. If you're watching it at Christmas, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.